This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Yeah. Whew, it's 6.30 a.m. I'm just about to hit the road. To go to Kansas City, I'm sleepy, but I gotta paint a big mural, so let's hit the road. And so it begins. Early in the morning, still dark outside. Step one, coffee. Oh yeah. Made it through Michigan, Indiana, Illinois. I think Missouri's next, I don't know. But yeah, going to Spray Simo Mural Festival on a road trip with my sale. <laughs> I got a whole bunch of spray paint in the back. It's nice to live in the Midwest and I can actually drive to this thing. But I'm gonna get back on the road so that I can get there and start painting. So here we go. Finally, I have made it to Kansas City. Just touched down. Oh yes, I love this town. This is my fourth time being here. I'm gonna try and go link up with some artist homies, and then tomorrow we start painting. Woo, eight hour drive. All right, we made it, yes. <laughs> All right, it is the morning of day one. It's 8 a.m., I'm on a coffee mission, and then I gotta figure out where my paint is. I gotta figure out what's going on with the lift. I gotta figure out where my wall is. <laughs> but the mural uh, adventure has just begun, so let's keep it moving. We are here getting my paint in this spooky warehouse. A lot of cobra paint. That's my pile. Yeah. It's kind of dark in here, but that's my pile. <laughs> All right, I am at my wall. Still waiting around. It's around 1 p.m. My lift has still not shown up. Pretty much every mural festival I do ever. This is how the first day goes. It always takes a while for the lift to show up. A lot of waiting around. A lot of like itching to get started to paint. But at this point, I'm used to it. I know to just kind of go with the flow. Wait for the things to come and it'll be all good. But I'm at my wall. This is the wall right here. It's a big boy. <laughs> it's probably 30 feet tall and 80 feet feet long is what I would estimate. So this is a major victory right here. When I moved from Seattle to Michigan, I somehow lost my respirator mask in the move. And I've been looking everywhere for one. There's like no respirator mask anywhere. But I found one here in Kansas City. Super hyped on that. So I won't be breathing in the toxic spray paint fumes the whole time. I think I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna be using the doodle grid on this. I'm gonna scribble all over the wall. Superimpose my art on top of those scribbles and use it as a rudimentary grid. Time to jump in. So Super excited, here we go. The lift is here, the lift is here. Time to really start painting. I can finally get rocking and rolling. <laughs> the lift is here, hooray! If you're watching this video right now and you're a little bit confused about the doodle grid, I have a video where I explain it a little bit more in depth. I'm linking to it on the screen right here. So check that out if you're feeling a bit lost on that. All right, I finished my doodle grid. It took me like two and a half hours, which is way too long in my opinion. But now it's finally time to get sketching. So I'm gonna get up in this lift. And I'm gonna slowly get this thing sketched out. I'll probably have to finish out the day with that because it is starting to get late in the day. So here we go. The sketching part always takes me a super long time, but I really feel it's like the most important part of the process, it's your roadmap. Here we are, bright and early day two. Didn't get a whole ton done yesterday because I didn't start till like 2.30, but we're back at it, bright and early. Birds are singing. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get back up there and keep sketching and hopefully get that done pretty quick so I can actually start painting. But spray see mode day two, here we go. Uh. It really feels crazy good to be working at this scale again. I haven't painted a mural since like last January because traveling has been difficult. I got a little bit of paint here. <laughs> And this wall is a massive triumphant return to my mural game. It's always such an honor to share my work so publicly in such a massive way with the community that's so dope. Shout out Kansas City. It's time for bucket paint. There's my first color, pretty coral. I'm gonna be using this paint sprayer, which is always a blast. First time I used one was at my last mural in New Zealand. But when you got a big chungus wall like this, you gotta get the big boy tool. So it's going down and Amy's gonna show me how to use it. Hey! Yeah. Drop the mic. So it appears we are having some technical difficulties with the paint sprayer. Um, hopefully we can get it working. It might be the nozzle, I can't quite tell. Yeah, we got the paint sprayer working. It's game on now. 
grown out of the dark pink. I went through five gallons of it. I have a lighter pink, so I think I'm gonna change up my concept art and maybe try and do a gradient from the light pink to the dark pink, because that's my only option right now, because I'm out of background color. That's the new plan. Let's see if this works. dead so I guess that's the end of today this is taking me longer than expected hopefully I have enough time to finish it I have Friday Saturdays I only have three more days to paint this whole thing <laughs> oh my gosh I'm calling it a day so that my lift can charge and we got a little bit of a gradient going on in the background there all right day two signing off peace out all right, it's day three. My plan today is to just start by finishing that background that I couldn't finish yesterday because my lift died, and then just start spray painting like a madman because I'm running out of time. I still haven't even started on a single character yet, so I'm getting a little stressed about that. But let's just dive right in because time is of the essence, so here we go. All right, the background is finally painted. Now it's time for the real fun. Let's get painting. By the time I'm done with the background and everything and I actually get to start painting the characters, I feel like I've already done so much. The weather was like 100 degrees, my wall was in direct sunlight until like 4 p.m. And it's crazy, it's not something that people really think about, but not only is painting a mural kind of mentally strenuous, but also it's a physical activity. Every time I paint a mural, I feel like it's a battle and it's like me versus this wall. It's like, how can I take this massive brown surface and turn it into a gigantic work of art in only three days? But these big, huge art challenges are almost what I live for as an artist and being able to have this huge huge impact on the community is completely invaluable to me. All right, it is Saturday. I have today and tomorrow to finish this thing. So I'm just gonna paint and paint and paint. Feeling the pressure of the time, uh, not nearly as far as I wanna be, but I'm just gonna jump into it. So here we go. It's the last day. Still have so much to do. Totally exhausted. This wall is so huge. So I'm just gonna start painting and just jump into it. Yeah, I have a lot to do. <laughs> Well, now it is raining, so I am going to just keep painting because it's sprinkling right now. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring. Boring all day. I'm soaked through my hoodie, soaked through my shirt. I'm dry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a tough mural. This turned out to be a real tough mural. But I literally cannot stop painting today. So, let's go. Well, there's lightning going on. It's getting really windy. It's getting dangerous for me to be in a giant metal cage raised up off the ground. I'm soaked, I got a poncho going on. Sweet jacket. Sweet jacket, so <laughs> I might be rained out today, which is a bummer, but yeah. We're gonna try and not die for this wall, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna pack up for the day, or at least till it gets nicer. Ooh, all right, that sucks, see you later. Back at the wall, I think it should be the final day. Ready to paint, ready to slay. <laughs> Didn't mean to rhyme. So it's time to get started. Let's jump in, here we go. My paint boxes are all wet and crumbly and nasty from yesterday, but we still ready. Let's go. Hey, huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you're an artist or a creative person or have an amazing idea or you want to share your vision with the world, in my opinion, Squarespace is the best place to build a website. I've been using Squarespace for years and years and years. It's how I built my whole website, 1000art.com. It's where I host my art. It's how I sell my products. It's super easy to build a website with Squarespace. They have these award-winning templates. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to be an HTML guru. You just put your awesome content into their beautiful templates and your off and running. Plus, if you do ever run into any issues, they have 24-7 customer support and they're there to help you out. So whether you're an artist, a filmmaker, a business person, an entrepreneur, whatever, you need a beautiful website. So when you're ready to sign up, go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred to get 10% off your first purchase. That's right. Thank you so much, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video, sponsoring dope art. You guys are the best. Thank you. 
Well, I finally, finally finished. This has been a gauntlet. This has been grueling. But I am ready to show you guys the final shots. All right, here we go. Huge shout out to Roseman for letting me paint their wall. Thank you so much, Roseman. You guys rule. Design agency, holler at them if you're, I don't know, rich as hell. <laughs> and a huge shout out to the squad who've been holding it down the whole time. Filming me, all the extra beautiful shots you guys see in this video are by these people. Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. Uh, oh. Who's the dopest, freshest of them all? Oh. <laughs> and we end with that. <laughs> Well, that's it for this one. A huge gigantic thank you to Spray Simo for having me at the mural festival, especially Jason and Amy who've been throwing this thing for like four years. I was at the very first one ever and I haven't missed one since. I love it there. Also a shout out to Cobra Paint who hooked us up on the paint for the festival. I really like your paint. I really like your caps. Thank you. <laughs> Massive thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of the mural. I'm always interested to hear you guys' input on the art that I create. Leave a like on the video if you feel like it. Did you like it? Drop a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already. And you can even ring the bell if you want to know exactly when the next video is coming out. Thank you so, so much to my patrons. You guys are the freaking best. You're the coolest people on the internet. You know this. I know this. <laughs> Thanks for being a part of the Patreon community. Well, that mural was actually like a couple months ago. Feels good to be back home. That was a crazy fun project. I've seen a lot of selfies taken in front of that wall already. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. That's it for me on this one. I'm 1000. Peace, I'm out. Mmm. Yeah. Got a little something I want to say on the outro of the video. I didn't want to say it in the main part of the video because I know like the people who actually make it to this point in the video are usually like the more diehard folks. When I was making this mural, after I did the doodle grid and the sketch and painted the whole background and did the fill colors, I was super beat. And that's the part of the mural where I need to be like the most energized. That's where I do all the details. That's where I do all the finishing touches. And by that point, I was like, man, I've been grinding this out so hard that I have like half the energy to really focus on the most important part. So I want to put together like a little mural squad. People People that'll help me with the doodle grid, people that'll help me with the backgrounds, people that'll help me with the fill colors. Maybe an additional cameraman because it's really hard to film myself when I'm also trying to paint a massive mural. All I can really do is put a tripod on a camera. I can't get the super awesome sexy shots that I want. So those folks that actually stay to the end of my videos, if you're down for this, maybe shoot me an email through the contact form on my website. I might not get back to you immediately because I actually do get like a really decent amount of emails every day, but I'll put them in a little secret folder. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to just roll out as a as a team more than just like me by myself I think I've gotten to that point where I could actually do a better job on murals If I had a little squad with me than if I just do these massive projects solo So if this interests you at all, haul at your boy, 1000art.com You can go to the contact page I don't know, we'll see if this kind of thing could work out But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching Hope you liked the video Peace out, have a great day Just a pass from a teammate anywhere near the basket And we'll the rest